Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, which is a raised to power x equals to 36. Here, yeah. we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log a raised to power x equals to log 36. From here, next step here, we apply the power of log theorem. When we have log m raised to power p is same thing as p log m that is what we have here becomes x log 8 equals to log 36 from here then from here we divide both side by log 8 divide this side by log 8 also divide this side by log 8 which implies here log 8 cancelled each other. And we have x left, which is equals to log 36 over log 8. Then next step here, we can rewrite 36 as 4 times 9. Which implies what we have here becomes x equals to log. 4 times 9 over log 8. And from here, what we have follows from the law of log n. When we have log a times b, it's same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 9 over log 8 then from what we have here we separate this into two fractions and what we have becomes x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 9 over log 8 then we can write 4 as 2 times 2, which is the same thing as 2 squared. Also here, we can express 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, which is the same thing as 2 raised to the power 3. And also 9 can be written as 3 times 3, which is the same thing as 3 squared. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 2 squared over log 2 raised to the power 3 and plus log 3 squared over log 2 raised to the power 3. That is, next step we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here, also from here, and 3 here, also here. And where it becomes x equals to 2 log 2 over 3 log 2 plus 2 log 3 over 3 log 2. Then from here, we have log 2 cancelled each other. And we are left with 2 over 3. That is x now equals to 2 over 3 plus. Here we can separate this as 2 over 3 times log 3 over log 2. Which implies... What we have here, applying change of base from when we have log a over log b. This is same thing as log a to base b. Then, here we have x equals to 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3 log 3 base 2. And here 2 over 3 is common. We can factor that out and have x equals to 2 over 3 into brackets 1 plus log 3 base 2. So here we have the value of x in this given problem as x equals to 2 over 3 into bracket 1 plus log 3 base 2. Now let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. At this, we substitute the value of x here, 
which is x equals to 2 over 3 into bracket 1 plus log 3 base 2. Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 2 over 3 into bracket 1 plus log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 36 on this side? And from here, we can express it as 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power 2 over 3 into bracket 1 plus log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 36 on this side? Then here, this power multiplies and 3 here cancel each other. We are left with 2 raised to power 2 into bracket 1 plus log 3 base 2 is it equals to 36 on this side then here these two open this bracket and we have to raise to power 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 now is it equals to 36 from here then here we apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power n plus n is the same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. As this, yeah, this becomes 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power 2 log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 36 from here? Then 2 raised to power 2, 2 times 2, that's. 4 then times here we reverse this 2 from power log into becomes 2 raised to power log 3 square base 2 is it equals to 36 from here that is the same thing as 4 times 2 raised to power log 3 square we have 9 then base 2 is it equals to 36 here and from here this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. Then this here, same thing as 9, that is 4 times 9 is equals to 36 here. And of course, 4 times 9 here equals 36, which is equals to 36 on this side, left hand side, now equals to the right hand side, hence here. We conclude that x equals to 2 over 3 into brackets 1 plus log 3 base 2 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the description button. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.